What's up, creepers? Hey, Geekers, Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today? Today, let's have a look at Funko's DC Primal Age Ace, the Bat Hound, the wolf in the line of figures. I don't know what you would call it. I don't know. Uh, Funko's take on their He-Man style barbarian figures using other licenses to mash them together to get some pretty cool stuff. Now, you know I don't collect the DC Primal Age figures, but I did say in the last video that I really like these, what we would have called vehicle style thing. They're creatures. They're, they're uh, the heroes and the villains companion pieces. I don't know what you would call them. Either way, the, the things that our heroes and villains would ride upon in battle or just to get from home to the grocery store or whatever it is that Batman would fucking do on his wolf here. So let's look at the package real quick first. Um, nothing different to note aside from, you know, obviously the character is different than the beast that we saw earlier last week. Um, same thing on the side. Uh, that's actually a really badass image. I wouldn't mind having a poster or a t-shirt or something like that. Uh, the back here is pretty much exactly the same as the Joker's Beast. Uh, one thing I do want to note, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a sticker underneath this sticker. <laughs> when I originally got these, if you recall, um, I said that they were $6.50 a piece. And I wasn't lying there. The, 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 Joker, uh, the Joker's Beast was $6.50 marked. It says it right on the front of the box. This one was 14 and change, and it had a sticker on it saying because it was a repackage. Now, this box is all banged up. There's all kinds of creases and rips and all kinds of stuff, but he was secure in the package, no problem. And um, it was 14 and change, so I, I grabbed them both, and I walked up to one of the cats that worked there, and he recognized me from earlier, you know, hey, could you have this toy, and they go in the back and get it for me. But, um... I was like, why the fuck is this one this and that one's that? This package is brand new and beautiful and it's, it's like half the price of this one. And this one's all banged up. And he's like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Target does weird things, but give me a minute. So he went in the back and actually produced that sticker to make it $6.50, just like the other one. And then I walked around with the two boxes debating on which one I wanted to take home. And I never ended up taking this one home. <laughs> I felt so bad, but it was like... I had a specific purpose for this guy, which we will get to here in a second, but the other one just looks so much cooler. Of course, we will get a shot with all of it, all of it together here pretty soon. But, you know, long story short, my lady went up there the next day with uh, her daughter and picked this up for me. She saw it was there and she's like, you know what? I know the kid was conflicted on which one he wanted to get. And the only reason I didn't get it, I mean, think about it. If you bought both of them, it was still cheaper than one regularly priced. But I only had enough cash for one, and I thought the Joker Beast was a better looking creature. And if I had to miss out on one, I think I'd be a little less disappointed that I missed out on this one. But long story short, um, it's one of those things where if I don't have it in my pocket on something frivolous like this, uh, you know, it's, it's, I can't really afford it, even if the money is in the bank. So I only had enough actual cash to pick up the other one, but my lady was nice enough to pick this up. She held on to it for like four or five days. She told me she got me a prize. But I had to be a good boy, and it took me three or four or five days or so just to earn the fucking thing like a little kid doing his goddamn chores. But regardless, the reason I wanted this one more so than, say, the other, the Beast one, is because I really primarily wanted to use it for my Savage World figures, as I've been showing on my Instagram accounts. And I figured, who better to have a wolf than Jason motherfucking Voorhees? He's a cat that lives in the woods and protects his domain. And if you go into his woods for any reason, it doesn't have to be premarital sex, drugs, and alcohol. You just have to fucking t trespass. And this dude will fillet you and cut your head off and have sex with your corpse. At least that's what I think he does with the bodies. Either way, it's none of my business what he does with them when he's done with them. I thought, how fucking cool in this universe. I mean, obviously this is done in some kind of a fantasy style. Would Jason motherfucking Voorhees be riding a giant fucking wolf in the woods? And he doesn't fucking sit on it. He won't sit on it. <laughs> he won't sit on the fucking thing. I mean, I can kind of get him to do that, but as soon as you move it, he's, bye. I'll have a nice day. Um, and mainly it's because of his shirt uh, tails, I guess you would call it. Um, are causing a little bit of a problem of him sitting on the wolf itself. Now, if you take the 
if you if you take the saddle off, he sits on it a little bit better, and that's not too hard to do. You can see I just did that right there. Hell, just to show you, you can even remove his remove his dealio there, and you can get him to sit just right. But I might have to buy another one of these Jasons if I can still find them in the stores. I know some stores were um, clearancing out a lot of this stuff. I, I know the the Target I bought these at. Um, they were clearancing out the Primal Age figures. I even put up on Instagram on my Million Macab. If there's anyone collecting these, guys, they're fucking six bucks or five bucks or whatever. Hit me up and I'll, you know, if you PayPal me the money, I'll send it out to you. But regardless, but I was really, I don't really collect these figures. So I'm not really into the DC stuff, nor into the figures. Um, of course, I got these because they were horror. But these are really, they, they really scream that Masters of the Universe vibe. More so this creature here. This creature, even though it's a dog type creature, really screams Panther, uh, Battle Cat. Really great design, real simple, just like the originals, put together exactly the same way, blah, 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 hollowed out legs, and all that good stuff. So, unfortunately, Jason can't sit upon it. Um, maybe I'll get another one and cut the shirt. I, I, at least the back, cut the back one off, because it doesn't really make any sense anyway. But, I don't know, and then I'll just have an extra, maybe I'll paint him. I'll give him a custom paint job or something. Um, give him a little more blood and stuff. Something I want to keep original. I don't mind doing any extra. So if anyone's got an extra Jason Voorhees that they don't give a fuck about, let me know. I'll, I'll flip you a few bucks for it. If not, if I find one for sale at one of my local joints, I'll pick it up. So let's get a shot of everything together, at least how I've had it. And then, um, yeah, we'll just call it that for now. For now. For now. Nine for now. So there you go, guys. A quick shot of both of my Primal Age vehicle figure creature Who's in Wop sits with uh, my Savage World figures, Jason and Freddy. This is how I see these two fuckers battling. I don't know about you, but this one image is more epic than what Ronnie you directed back in the early 2000s. But either way, and I could not, not put Snake Mountain in the background because, well, it was handy. It was right next to me. Um, I, I mean, I guess I could have put it all together for you, but hey, you know what? You're lucky to have gotten that. But either way, I do plan on getting the back cave that comes with the Primal Age uh, characters, the line anyway. I'm uh, just waiting for that to not be $60 anymore. Um, but I don't know. Go ahead and leave feedback, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the Creep is positive. Go ahead and leave some information down below. Do you like these things? Have you collected these things? If you want some of those Primal Age figures, let me know. There was like two Mantas, um, a Wonder Woman. Bizarro and one other. I don't know. Go to the Millie Macabre Instagram. And you'll see it. And they're all like six bucks. So if you collect these and you want some, let me know. I'll go back there and see if they're still available for you. But I don't know. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks as always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget, you can win yourself an Atari 7800 gamepad. Just click on the, the bottom right video at the end notes of this video. Read the description and you'll be off to the races. Guys, until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.